Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition here with our cartoon colony. <clears throat> so as you know, we're struggling with power, we're struggling with stress, um, and we're struggling with heat. <laughs> <clears throat> right now we're mostly running off of coal generators <laughs> because everything else is kind of kaput and, you know, we're not even producing the petroleum out of, or I mean the yeah, petroleum out of the crude oil very much. <clears throat> and we're not doing anything on our steam power because we can't get these things going. And uh, yes, we're, we're just in wonderful shape. <laughs> Trying to decide <clears throat> what can we do to fix the problems. And there really isn't anything that we can do. Um, I mean, we can come here. Suit wearing, researching. <coughs> Here goes the coughing again. Um, yeah, no. There's really not... <clears throat> anything that we can do. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of hydrogen. Which, I guess is good, because we can rebuild this so that this thing doesn't break. So we can figure that out. <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to think of what we can do. I mean, what we need is is this, but we're stuck in the situation to where <clears throat> we're just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get the stress down. Fortunately, we're not short on oxygen, really. Water is okay at the moment, <clears throat> not for long. Heat, there's nothing we can do in this wheel. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, unless we have massive amounts of power. Get a drink, but I would say that that's not going to help me anyways. I mean, the only thing that we need is this. But again, we're stuck in the situation to where nobody will work it. I mean, we have the priorities like operating. <laughs> Boy, you're red. <clears throat> I mean, I could. I can stick everybody on operating and see if they'll do anything. I, I don't think this is the solution. <clears throat> Can we just set all of them? Yeah. I'm just going to try something. <clears throat> okay. There, everybody's set for operating. Of course, there's, well, this one has power. <clears throat> Is it because it's max gas pressure? And so they can't operate? In that case, then it's this thing that's the problem. <clears throat> what type of gas is in here? Where's the... Which one is it? Is it this one? Let's see, we got oxygen, carbon dioxide. So maybe we just need to... Because this is set for natural gas. Maybe that's my problem. All right, well, let's do this. Deconstruct nine emergency. <clears throat> Just deconstruct that so that it runs. Maybe, maybe that's why they're not doing it because there's max gas pressure of these other gases since we didn't see that. You know, this isn't the best setup. <clears throat> I bet you that's what it is. Of course, without power. We're kind of struggling, I mean, but we'll pull what we can out of it and get 
at least <clears throat> at least a little bit. We just gotta see if 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 we pull stuff out, will it continue? This one's just no power. Let me see. They're on separate ones. Ah, that one goes up there, coming from down here. This one's also coming from down here. <clears throat> I don't think I can really do anything. Banshee wailing. Oh boy. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh, that. Okay, that's funny. <clears throat> you know what? I think that's what it was. So that means we need to rethink this design. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I just barely threw a little bit down here for some power. <clears throat> but okay, well then let's let's think about how we can do this. Not that these guys are in the mood to build anything. <clears throat> Stress should go down if we continue to just work it. I mean, I took certain things off, you know, priority so that we don't have issues. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we even got this thing going. We're messing everything up. I guess it's duties. <clears throat> ah, okay, okay, okay. So we can do this. Then we can do duties seven. Okay, all right. So that only grabs <clears throat> certain things. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Take a moment, do some reassessing of priorities. These actually don't have to be, they can all be a six. That should be high. We'll keep we'll keep all these. My goal is to try to rebalance a little bit if we can. <clears throat> Let's see. I, I probably don't need to really do this from this standpoint, but I'm going to experiment here. Okay. Well, that that rebalances some stuff. Probably doesn't help with anything. <clears throat> we'll try some sevens on our mopping. Just to clean it up, because that's a stress reliever. Um, looks like we are running these a little bit. So maybe now we can concentrate on a, a redesign. <clears throat> Always a fun thing. To try to redesign stuff. So what we would need... <clears throat> is to figure out where to put it. So that we can... We can go out, we can work the machines, 
we can capture the gas in a vacuum. Basically means we don't want people running through it. We want a lock so that we can create a vacuum and the only gas that is in it is going to be the, the natural gas that's being expelled. Nothing else. That'll, cr that'll improve efficiency in how we do it and how we fix things. I just don't know where to stick the machine. I mean, we could do it over he down here or over here and build a new one because we, we have a water source here. <clears throat> we'll have to clean it up. But we could bring in an additional um, system and kind of run it off of this area. So let, let's let's try that. We could put it here. <clears throat> we would need a lock into it. So we're going to start here. Okay, there's our lock. just get that tagged and then <clears throat> the way we would do it is we would have don't forget we gotta drop liquid in here um, <clears throat> so we're gonna drop we're gonna drop the liquid in right here Right. Then we would have our refinement, which is going to be oil refineries. Shouldn't need to build them out of steel, but because we could run this through it just to keep it cool. <clears throat> so technically, we can just use copper. So we'd want one here, and we're going to do one here. Um, we're going to do a large sculpting block here and here. Then we would take our pump and stick it there. <clears throat> Speaking of, we can get cooling going again. This is should be nice. It's warmed up a little bit because we never really did fix. We never really did fix this, did we? We did not. But we can work on it. Okay, so <clears throat> that would be the design. Now, that means, you know, we have to come in and put another oil well. in here somewhere. I guess just do we want it right here or do we want it up here? Hmm. We're gonna stick it there. Then we would need do we not? Have that researched. We must not have it researched. <clears throat> Where is it? We don't. Okay, we're gonna change that. We need the desalinator. All right. Make sure we have those on. Let's come over to priorities. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Let's make sure we have 
make sure we get our cooking back because nobody's cooking right now. There we go. And oh my what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? That's your sent he starved? Oh my goodness. I was just changing it. Oh yeah, we need food. Oh no. Here my stupidity be you know, thinking, oh I'll fix this by putting everybody else is starving. Okay, well, <clears throat> we got eight eggs. Okay, fry them, fry them eggs. <clears throat> nine, nine, nine. Go cook. Get food. <laughs> My goodness. Well, that is definitely my fault. Now we've got wrong elements coming in. Why? Because this has no power. And because it has no power... it has no power, no power, no power. Alright, tell me we got food here. Food, food, food. Well, we can make that into food. Shovel legs. Shovel legs. Three. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, um. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Really? Re really? Oh, let me see. Your rancher, your farmer, your farmer, your farmer. <clears throat> You're operating. Wiley Coyote would. Alright. To get this all settled. believe that I messed this up and now I'm I'm just killed off my colony like that all because uh, yeah we what we know why well I'm sorry Tweety I'm sorry Yosemite Sam <clears throat> all right so now we're farming we got food again That is disappointing, though. I, I do have to say that that's my fault. Totally my fault there for for messing that up. Oxygen's going to become a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! We have no power anywhere still because we're not working these enough. Even though I've got someone that supposedly that's the only thing they're supposed to do. I wish you could assign a specific duplicate, you know? <clears throat> I think that would be better instead of just random people. I mean, you could do it by putting it in a certain spot and then assign the door to where only that dupe can go through. My other idea was to, like, do this. <coughs> Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Do this and then 
put a bed, table, bathroom, and lock them in and then just have food delivered remotely with some oxygen and carbon dioxide removal um, so that this is their only job is they're just stuck in here and that's what they have to do. <laughs> but because I've seen that done before. <clears throat> but for right now, we're kind of stuck. Yeah, they're not going to build this. We can only help. <clears throat> come on, is anybody going to come and just... They have power just... I mean, the only way I could get it is to give everybody that priority. I've reduced priority on everything else. Are, are we just... Yeah, those are sixes. <laughs> just, just in case, are we, you know, doing stuff that we don't need to do somewhere? Not really. <laughs> yeah, we're, there's really nothing else to do in this entire place. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, out of out of everything. I just everything but food and <clears throat> some power needs. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, look, you know, even if I turn everything off, except for, of course, food production and these power items. I mean, I realize there's no power here, so they're not going out. <clears throat> Maybe that's what it is, is they're just not going out at the base because power. I mean, I could disable this, and now they'll get scalded to death but maybe that's what I have to do <clears throat> let's see banshee wailing or banshee wailing all right well they'll go out see but they're not gonna go to do this they're gonna go do something else what, what are you gonna do well probably phosphorus for the farm that would make sense. Coming up here to grab the phosphorus. <clears throat> oh, picking up coal for the coal. All right, well, that's ex that's okay, too. But it doesn't look like they're doing anything. <laughs> so for <laughs> making a mess and getting to the point that we're going to have no oxygen in the base. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and Banshee Wailing. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if we're going to get through this, guys. <laughs> we're we're going to try. This was... I love the... I love the asteroid with all the volcanoes. The metal volcanoes. But we seem to be... Not doing well. Everything's breaking. Because <clears throat> of incorrect gas. So 
we can't go fix anything. Or can't go manage our critters. Not that we need more stuff at the moment. We don't. I mean, this is the number one thing that we need consistently all the way through. I thought we were doing really good for a while, but, you know, I realized now that we messed it up with the automation <clears throat> and allowing other gases in here all the time. And so as a result, you know, it's messed this up and we fell behind and I didn't catch it until just just this episode. See, these guys have no interest in coming over here and, and running these. This one has power. It's max gas pressure again, though, see? I mean... I can try to let the gas out. But again, that's only if someone will come over and toggle it. Meanwhile, I don't know what everybody's doing. They're, they're really not doing anything. We have no water in the base. Well, we have water for cooking. Manual farming, if we need it. But that's it. Temperature and fertilization is becoming a problem. Will they survive? I don't know. I don't like giving up on my world's... But if I do go look at my history of worlds, I have a lot of worlds where I just, I stopped because the hurdle, <laughs> um, it was just annoying because it would be one issue after another. And, and I would learn from it and I still learn from it and go, okay, well, all right, I need to do that differently. And that's what the game is all about. Those of you that have played this and play it know that. Um, <clears throat> It's about learning from your experiences because each one is going to be unique. That's what's that's why I keep coming back to it. And right now it's the main video on my channel. I'm taking a break from Minecraft. And while I am playing some other games and I'm recording some other stuff for a trip that I'm going to, you know, be taking here in November, I'm pre-recording some stuff because I'm not going to be able to do any recording on that trip for quite some time. <clears throat> so I have some other games coming in, um, and and by no means am I tired of Oxygen Not Included. I, I really like this, and I like the challenges. I just need to think smarter. <clears throat> I was really happy with this one because I thought, okay, food solved. We have unlimited food supply because I do have the sulfur, liquid sulfur geyser, and this... And we're going to be good. And I set that up really early. And overall, it, it did really good. The problem, of course, <clears throat> is heat started becoming a problem. Now, we did cool it down a little bit, as you can see, which is lucky. Because this stuff did work. And it is working from a cooling perspective. So, success. But we got the cooling in too late. And, you know, the entire base is hot. We have successful before in the past made this work really well and never had problems with breaking, but this one here we're always breaking. So it hasn't been very successful, mainly because I think in the other maps it's not <coughs> excuse me. It's not surrounded by all of this heat. And look at all this heat. I mean even out here it's a hundred degrees Celsius. So, that obviously has hurt us um, in a lot of different ways. And then we just, we rushed through some stuff and set some stuff up wrong. It's like we've never been able to get back into this volcano because it's just steam. If I let this out, I mean, we're already warm. But if I let this out at 400 degrees, all of this is going to be, and while we're wearing suits... You know, it'll be a complete disaster because all of this stuff will just break. <clears throat> Not sure what to work on. There's, there's, <clears throat> there is really absolutely nothing I can do right now. Except for try to keep coal in the coal generators. 
keep making food <coughs> and hope at some point they come run these freaking machines. Um, but to do that, we need power to this thing. We opened this so that we can get some of the gas out of it, but... Right now, I know we're going to have more dupes dying here in a moment. <laughs> Guaranteed. And there's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> what, what are you doing? Are you doing anything useful to the colony? No. Yeah, they're... they're... Alright, well, you know what? In the next episode, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Start time's up. Thanks for watching. If you have ideas, go ahead and share them. <laughs> I know what most of those ideas are, and, and I agree 100%. Um, it's just, right now, it's a matter of how do we get past the hurdle. We'll see. We, we overcame some hurdles in the past. We'll see what we can do here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.